get. So it seems there's been a little bit of confusion from people that actually know me. They're like, hey, I'm watching your videos and that truck's been rolling around for a while, but then I watched YouTube and it's still getting built. Did you take it back apart? And no, 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 this is the same build that, uh, you know, I was trying to get done for mini Nats. And clearly those of you that have been watching and subscribing and liking all this stuff, you guys know I didn't make it. I didn't, I didn't make mini Nats this year. But um, now that it's taken so long to upload the videos, it's kind of like it's ready for mini nats next year. So I'm just continuing to edit the content, edit the videos and, and put them out. This is the final one here you guys are about to watch. It'll be done and then we'll get into the minutia, I think is the word of all the, uh, of all the smaller stuff that happened behind the scenes. You know, maybe we'll get more in depth in the brakes. I still got a disc brake swap coming up. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. I still got an engine detail and wire tuck that's already going on under the truck. We've got. We've got a bunch of stuff, fenders going in and the, the inner bed structure getting done and some wheel tubs and, you know, there's a lot more. This, this build is far from being done and we still got body work and paint, interior, figuring out that stereo system. So I promise if you guys that have been putting up with this for a while, uh, this is it. Like the, the, the body drop portion of it is over and we'll just be plowing on as a regular YouTube channel, I guess, at this point, for all 400 of you that care to watch. By the way, I'm grateful. Thank you. Thumbs up. You guys rock. 400 views or 4,000 views. You guys make it happen because, uh, like I said before, I started making these videos just to uh, try to remind myself where parts went when I forgot I could go back and look. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyways, enjoy the video. Definitely feeling that 11th hour crunch. Maybe 12th hour, 13th hour. It's one problem after another, right, Steve? But we're working through them. <laughs> we're working through them. I promise you, the hood kind of sort of fits. Kind of sort of. We'll get it to fit. Yo, in all seriousness, I have not been recording a lot because it's just been go, 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 go. It is Friday, April 11th or something. I don't know. It's not tax day yet, but that's another horrible day. Like the deadline day that's fast approaching. I'm gonna give you guys a quick wrap up of why we're in this situation. It rains a lot. No, in all seriousness, it's all the little things, man. It's all the little things you just don't think about and all the things that just move backwards. We put the truck all together, we went to crank it, had no fuel pump. I don't know what happened in the process. If a wire got nicked, if something got dropped, but we lost about five hours just on that one issue, diagnosing that fuel pump. The relay was getting power. The fuse is getting power. Everything else was turning on. Even the fuel gauge is working. Plugged in a tail light, tail lights turned on. Full rear harness had power. Everything except one wire to the fuel pump. We jumped it, we bypassed it. Fuel pump turned on, truck started right up. Long story short, pulled all the loom, checked all the splicing and everything that happened previously when we bagged the truck, nothing had come loose, everything was fine. Ran a new wire, solved that problem. For the brakes, so that I would have brake lights, it didn't work. No matter what we did, it didn't work. It's a low pressure switch, 45 PSI, 60 PSI, minimum, something like that. I don't know, the brakes on this truck, it's been around the block twice twice now like doesn't pull left doesn't pull right and it still needs an alignment they don't lock up doesn't feel like the back end wants to go out of control I, of course i didn't have it over 30 35 but it felt good the brakes on this block on this truck no hands on the wheel just awesome what are we doing now man again those little things that catch up with you when I test fit the hood, I didn't have the pipe and that guy in place. That guy sits over here in this area. You know, plugs in. Well, it can't sit there anymore because the fan's in the way. So the tube and all that, well, there's just, there's not room. It used to fit under this bar. This was the bar, the bracket that held it. And um, can't fit under there now. The fan's too high. So it can fit on top, that's great. But then it doesn't close the hood and I'm not trying to drive around looking like 
a no hooded ass 90s mini trucker. No offense, but I was one of those guys once. But I didn't want to be that. I don't want to be that in 2024. I want a hood. Oh, yeah. So that means you can get electric fans, which you could totally do, but time is not on my side. I ordered a set as a backup plan, but time is not on my side. And then I don't even know if they're going to cool the truck. And that being said, that still doesn't guarantee that there would be room in this area for the pipe or that the electric fans would work right or so that brings us over here to this which is moving the battery to the back of the truck meaning we had to extend all the wires from the starter you've got to extend the wire from the fuse block i know it's sad but it looked like this per the accident so bear with me and you can see we still got this hose to trim the bottom hose is a is a gem down there top hose needs trimmed it's too tight it doesn't you don't want to kink like that so anyways that means we had to extend all our wires from that side of the truck to this side of the truck now this guy's got to get mounted and we've got to extend the wires and we've got to come back here and uh mount a battery box next to where the fuel and the gas lines are already hooked up and who doesn't love welding around gas lines, am I right? I know there hasn't been a lot of stuff to how we got to this point, but really it's just reassembly. And like I said, the truck's been around the block a couple of times now and as bad as she looks, she actually runs pretty good. I'm really impressed with the brakes so far. The clutch is, oh, so fantastic. And uh, the idle's a little high, but there might still be some vacuum stuff to take care of with the big vacuum hose coming off the brake booster. Or we just might have to adjust the timing due to the lack of brake booster vacuum. I don't know. But that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Things to do. Hood latch, fender braces, put all the body panels back on. Put a new battery cable or a new hood cable, latch cable on. Uh, bed. There's no bed. <laughs> we still got to cut that out and put that on. Air ride. No air ride on the truck. We're still on shop air. There's a lot to do. Look. We found a place for our battery tray. It's wiring time. What'd you guys miss? Uh, not a lot. Every five seconds, I just make sure the truck starts and stops because, you know, still paranoid. Um, we got the exhausted. I know that looks close, but the truck is all the way up. We've checked everything a million times. Not much going on there. It's just an exhaust. You've seen one ugly one. You've seen them all. I'll put the link to the um, Amazon kit that I bought. It comes with a bunch of bends and stuff. Turns out, like, I only needed, like, two pieces of pipe out of that kit. But it was well worth the 80 bucks I spent or uh, spent and then um yeah i just put my old muffler on i tried to get a new muffler put on there and do some fancy stuff but there just isn't room for it i should have pre-planned that a little bit better um what else what else battery is in battery is in we're over here now this is where the battery lives those are the fuel lines everything's got to get loomed back up after that fuel pump problem we had Turned out to be a dead wire that we probably pinched or cut or something, but we got to pretty everything back up. Trucks like this, geez. Oh, you got to like that, right? You got to like that. Never gets old. Soon, baby. Now we're back into all this. Got a couple of new wires going on. There's nothing wrong with my other ones at all, but I picked up a set of black ones off a of buddy. He had them brand new, bought them during tax season last year, decided he was going to do something different in his life. So I purchased those off him and I'll keep the chrome ones tucked away for maybe when I do something pretty, but right now that's it. The umbilical cord that is life of the toyota all right in all seriousness yeah i don't know what else to do but just zip tie all that crap in together right now and get the truck up and running that's where we're at we're just zip tying like crazy and getting it up and running she's alive and already smoothing out
PG's back! Holy hell, I don't know what looks worse, me, the shop, or this truck. She drove out under her own power though. I wanted you guys to see as soon as I saw. We just gotta get this bed mounted, throw the rest of it together. She's almost a truck again, almost. Yeah? It runs great. I'm like fucking like, I can't believe it run. Listen to it. Yeah, it's it's smooth. The only thing is the timing. Like, if the timing chain was tuned in, it would be clean and sound. Do a new chain after the show. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you would have taken it for a drive or if you would have waited until we button everything up, but you can take it now if you want. I'll try it. Why not? It is Friday night, the night before Havasu Meltdown or Art of Noise out here on the West Coast in Arizona, Nevada, Havasu, whatever you want to call it. It's supposed to be like three or four days before we're supposed to leave the mini nats. So trust me when I say this is real time. And again, so I've got a couple that I can count on and thank goodness I can because they help me do the things like get the bed on, get the welding, figure out some brake switches rewire all my fuel and to those guys you know who you are thank you you've seen him in this video craig stevie you guys are lifesavers of course my son oh and my wife because man why she puts up with all this i don't know i don't know must be the truck she must love it we're gonna get it done we're gonna try one way or another man ready for war been through war Big. 